How's it going everybody? My name is Massey and welcome to the 11th episode of our Dark Souls 3 walkthrough. In the previous episode we managed to uh, go through 95% I would say of the smoldering lake and now we're here for the boss killing. So we got a big worm to kill, a boss and another boss in the catacombs. For now though, we're going to be experiencing a change of weapons. Uh, yes, so the thing is, I have two like I have two set weapon types for the gameplay that I have. The big boy weapon, the big strength weapon, the bulky ones for the basic going through the zones, like killing mobs and such. And the not so basic cell sword twin blades, which are the absolute chad boss killing weapon. So we're going to be doing that. We're going to be putting all our points into the cell sword twin blades and making it all the way to a plus six, I believe. Yeah, there we go. And then infuse it with a sharp gem because we're obviously a dex build. So there we go. Also reinforce the Estus because we had an Estus flask uh, shard. Talk to this lovely lady and I believe we can buy, uh, you know, gold pine resins from her. There we go. So we're going to buy all three that she has available for now. So pretty cool. With that, though, we're going to be also coming over here to level up. I'm going to start putting points into dexterity because why not? I think I have to start putting points in my endurance as well. With that, though, I'm going to equip this item. Let's see. There we go. So sword twin blades. Okay, I'm, I'm above 70%. So I'm going to take these off. I'm kicking put them. Oh, they put pontiff ring. There we go. I'm going to take the... Yeah, there we go. We're good to go now. So with that... Uh, we also, I believe, yeah, we do have an undead bone shark. So let's teleport to the um, the demon ruins and see how it goes. So the worm is. Uh, I wish I wish I had remembered it, so I would have let the ballista kill it. But unfortunately, I forgot about it entirely. So uh, yeah, it's a uh, it's a bit sad, but it is what it is, I guess. So we're gonna have to deal with the worm ourselves, and honestly, it's a kind of an annoying thing to do, but let's see how it goes for now. Let's just do this. Wait for the worm to pop out. We're gonna wait, we're gonna attack it whenever it just stands still, kind of. So I'd like to stay here, avoid the head, obviously. God damn it. There we go. Okay, we got a couple of hits in. Not too terrible, I would say. Okay, when he's doing the uh, lightning attacks, this is your best uh, like time to do attacks here. Because you can get a lot of hits in. And you can avoid the other hits, of course. So, it's gonna start doing the borrowing thing again. Yeah, yeah. There we go. It's gonna come over here now. We're gonna wait for it to stop. To prevent taking damage. To avoid taking damage, sorry. There we go. Ooh. Oh, I still got hit. No. It's okay. Which one is it? Okay, he's doing like the uh, slam attacks here. Again, it's it's worth if you tank hits here, I would say, in general, because it's just, you know, more damage. You get more damage in. Why not? Better than not getting any damage, you know? Oh, that's not good. I don't want to die here. There we go. Come on. Just wake up. Oh, where is that? You're doing the worst attack possible. But the good thing is we got it. Yeah, it's uh, it took a bunch of S's, like took like four S's out of me, but it's worth it. Lightning stake and the undead bone shard. We also get the shield of want and a large titanite shard. So we got a lot of goodies here. With the next boss, it's called the Old Demon King. It's kind of a, it's kind of one of those weird boss fights um, that gave me a lot of trouble on my first playthrough. But the Soul Swords kind of demolish this guy. So he has a, he has a couple attacks where he slams his staff on the ground and makes a ring of fire appear. Avoid that. He can also channel a bunch of uh, great balls of fire on you. You just want to keep running. He can uh, do a bunch of slam attacks. You want to stay under him and dodge as much as possible. He also does have a flame breath attack for if you get, if you get too up close and personal. And he also uh, can commit suicide at the very end and kill you with himself. So be careful before you kill him in the last phase. Because he might be able to just demolish you there. But I'm going to show you the power of the... That, that's the that's the up close and personal one. Oh, he did some damage to me. That's a bit unfortunate. Let me just heal. Let me just heal myself here. No, oh, still got hit by that. It's okay. There we go. I framed that. How am I getting hit by that? Okay, he's gonna summon the Ring of Flame here. I don't know which one. Okay, it's the outer ring. Just roll through it. Should be easy enough. It's gonna come outside now, but it's it's gonna be okay. There we go. 
rush to him. He should be dead here. He's gonna go into suicide mode, but we're good to go here. Yeah. As I said, I kind of brute forced my way onto him, but it's okay. That's kind of how the uh, cell swords work. You you out damage the boss. It's very simple. <laughs> kind of OP, not gonna lie, but it is what it is, I guess. So, not the not the cleanest fight, but it is what it is. So, we can level up. So we're just gonna go very quickly and do that. Oops, not strength. 35 dexterity, not too terrible. Okay, and now we're gonna be using the Undead Bone Shard, and now we're gonna go back to the catacombs. We have a couple of things to do. Uh, teleport to the catacombs of Karthus bonfire, and we have Anri to talk to about the whole uh, Horus being missing and stuff. And we also have obviously the uh, the boss itself, which is High Lord Volnir. As I mentioned previously, this boulder does not catch up to you if you run as fast as possible, so I'm just gonna very quickly do this, do this, do the same thing. Dodge over here, wait for these rats to get crushed, pretty cool. Make your way to the left where we fought Sorik, so that we opened up a shortcut last time around if you remember, right? So now, uh, you might not notice it, but there is a path on the right, bef right before the bridge where Anri is. So like, if you turn over, there we go, if you turn over here, Anri's going to be chilling there. So, there we go. Tell the Smoldering Lake, and when, she, when he gives you the Ring of uh, Evil Eye, that means you've progressed his quest. So, pretty cool. With that, we're going to make our way outside here. And we're going to go to the boss fight. So, the boss fight, is, there's nothing to it. He has three bracelets on his hands that uh, are his weak points. You break them, you kill him. Uh, he can uh, summon a bunch of skeletons, but he probably won't. He also has a fog attack where he just starts breathing out. Uh, that thing is pretty deadly. Avoid it. And the thing is, one of the funny things is, if uh, if you don't take the bait and don't pick up the loot, you can kind of mess with him. Because you can kind of see the silhouette of his hand. If you buff your weapon and go over here and hit the these, these, th these things, you can break one of his bracelets before the boss fight even starts. Pick up the Grave Warden Pyromancy Tell him, let's see what attack he does here. He's doing the bitch slap attack. I framed it, not too bad. Okay, we're gonna wait for him to start moving a little bit. Oh, he's doing the breath attack. Let's see if he can break. No, we can't. So when he's when he does this attack, just run back, and you should be good to go. Nothing to this boss, as I said. I believe he's gonna start walking up now. No, he's gonna he's summoning his uh, his uh, sword, I believe. So let's just go break this one. There we go. Pretty simple. Nothing to it really. Let's see if we can break this one in time as well. There we go. Yeah, that's the boss fight. And with that, Rolnir is down. Nothing to this boss fight, as I mentioned. It's just a very simple gimmicky boss fight where you have to break his bracelets, so... That's that. With that, we got a neat bonfire, and we can move on to the next part, which is one of the prettier sights in this uh, in this game, I would say. It's the Irithyll of the Boreal Valley. Pretty cool area. I feel like it should be uh, like that's the same feeling at least I got if you've played Dark Souls 1 this place this place should feel familiar to you There we go Light the bonfire and once you go over here, we're gonna be uh, so if you go past this bridge if you walk a little bit forward We're gonna get uh, kind of a uh, Invaded by a pontiff beast these things are pretty dangerous. I would say so be be a little bit more careful once you're dealing with them, but uh, the good thing is, I kind of messed with him before he even managed to do some damage on me, so... Oh. Uh, can you not... There we go. I got the I got the visceral attack, or the critical attack. It was just sitting on one health, that's why I was just getting greedy. There we go. But the Pontiff Beast dead, and we're gonna get the Pontiff's right eye, which is going to have a very nice combination with our, uh, you know... Uh, Pontiff's left uh, ring, uh, left eye ring, because it's going to increase our uh, damage. The more damaging persists, and now with the Pontiff's uh, left eye, we're going to be having uh, healing on those hits. So it's kind of like Bloodborne, where aggression is kind of uh, promoted here. That's kind of what we're going for. Pick up the large soul. Go over to this bonfire, obviously to activate it. So we have a couple of things to do before we move on to this area. It's pretty important that we do so. So. If you remember, we saved, uh, you know, we saved uh, Siegward, or Siegward, and uh, he's uh, 
obviously he's good to go we gave him his armor back if you haven't done the armor thing do it now but if you've done this now gray rat is going to be asking you to hey let me go for pillaging again and we're going to be saying yes to him but if you haven't saved, saved zigward yet he's going to die in Irithyll. like be careful but if you have saved uh, zigward and gave given him his armor back He's going to very, very easily actually save Grey Rat from dying, and his Grey Rat is going to survive. So that's pretty cool, right? So let's just very quickly start putting points into endurance. Okay. So let's go talk to Grey Rat. There we go. Sent into pillage. You're good to go. Don't worry about it. So. Uh, once you go over here, uh, you're gonna be seeing that Yol is dead. Yuria of Londor has appeared. She's a cool person, uh, not so much though. So. Be sure to buy the, the the Braille Divine Tome. It's pretty important for one of the NPCs that we get. We also get two rings over here. One of them uh, retain humans' appearance while hollow. I'm gonna buy this because you know I'm kind of into fashion souls. For now though, uh, she's gonna be sure to talk to her. She's gonna talk about hey. Uh, Yo, uh, like uh, Orbic of Vinheim is uh, also wanting to be the Lord of Hollows, but uh, you know, kill him. You don't have to kill him yet. You can kill him at, all the way at the very end, right before the Soul of Cinder. So don't worry about it. Uh, for now, we're gonna give go over here to give a couple of tomes to this lovely guy, and you know, give the Carthus uh, and the I believe we can give him the Isolith one. We don't. We can't give him the rest of them. He's gonna. Ref he's gonna refuse. So with that, now we we're also gonna come over here to give a uh, a scroll to Orbeck. Why not? So there we go. For now, just leave him and be done with him. So once we've done all of this, we are ready to move on to the next part of our journey, which is Irithyll. Central Irithyll. We have one small thing to do before we actually start uh, progressing through Irithyll, which is, if you remember, Cirrus of the Sunless Realms, the, the Dark Moon girl. She's gonna be needing our help here. I feel like my I feel like my controller is gonna run out of battery here. Oh, by the way, the reason we managed to cross this threshold is because we have the small doll by kill, like that we got from killing the Deacons of the Deep. So the Deacons are not really an optional boss. You need it to be able to progress in the main path. So, once you proceed on over here, right next to the uh, to the message, you should be able to see, there we go, Sirius' summon sign, and she's going to be needing your help, and that's, this is a part of her quest line, so, yeah. Uh, she's going to get invaded by Creighton the Wanderer, and it's the same Creighton, I, I don't know how, but it's the same Creighton as, uh, maybe it's not, I don't know, but he looks the same, and he's wielding the same weapon as the Creighton back in... Uh, Dark Souls 2, so who knows. There we go. <laughs> Locked him, got a backstab. There we go. Okay, he's, uh, he's doing a lot of dodging. Come on, hit him, you. Aw, oh, come on, Cirrus. There we go. At least we got some decent backstabs off. No, you're not healing yourself. There we go. We got him. We carried the uh, Cirrus. And we should be good to go here. Thank you for your kind, Thank you for your kind assistance. Thank Blessing of the moon upon your journey. And that's that. We're going to go back to our world now and actually start progressing through Irithyll. So, the thing is, we do have a good amount of time left in our video. Like, we're only 30, 13 minutes in, and I want to just... I want to I want to be able to cover Irithyll all the way to the point where we reach a bonfire. So, yeah. Let's see how it goes. I've uh, kind of uh, grown past the fact that I wanted to keep my videos uh, under 20 minutes, or at least 20 minutes, because, honestly, sometimes if you uh, like get your videos all the way to 30 minutes, yes, it's going to be longer, it's going to be harder for me to upload because of my garbage internet, but it's going to be able to cover more uh, stuff and leave at a better note. That's how I'll say it. Anyway, make your way over here. We're going to be seeing these Pontiff Knights. Uh, these guys are pretty tough, but against Ultras, they're not too amazing. So we're going to be using our Ultra Power uh, to, you know, to deal with them. As you can see, the Ultras kind of do mess with them. Oh, nice. We got a crown. Hello, sir. Hey, we can tank through their attacks with the Ultras. And since these guys are kind of like glass cannons, they're pretty squishy, but they do a lot of damage. We can kind of... Uh, 
you know, deal with them. Ooh, that's not good. Ooh, almost messed me up there. But the good thing is we have a lot of healing. Oh, nice. There we go. This guy, man, this guy. Oh, okay. Whoa, okay, we're getting a lot of good stuff off of these guys. I'm going to heal myself here, though, just to be sure. Uh, let's make our way up here. Kill this thing. These guys can drop claymores, by the way, since they're actually wielding claymores. They can legitimately drop claymores. It's actually funny. There we go. Blood gems. Didn't get the claymore. I was going to be happy if I got the claymore. But we can just go pick up the claymore whenever we want. So we're going to be seeing these fire dudes. Uh, these things are pretty scary, I would say. So be careful. You want to avoid their uh, fire attacks. Very simple, of course. So what I'm going to do is just try my best to go behind them while focusing all of them at the same time. I don't know if... I, I don't know. This might be a risky thing and it might get me killed. But it might be worth it. There we go. We managed to get some healing off as well. Nice, we got a large Titanite chart out of that. Let me see. So the thing is, that guy is going to be focusing us on top, right? Oof. Look at the damage they do, dude. Like, these things are pathetic, but they do so much damage. And the fact that that fire dude can just focus me from all the way over there is just obnoxious. But it's okay. It's going to be worth it. Like, yeah... Some pipe people might think that it's better to rush the fire guy down, but the thing is, I remember specifically dying here just because I killed this guy, but then three of these dudes surrounded me, and, you know, it got me stuck and killed me. So they can be pretty dangerous if you're not careful. But the good thing is we're here for revenge now. There we go. Get the hell out of my face here. We're getting some decent sets off of these guys. And we got a couple of uh, stacks of that thing, of the Estus though. Pretty cool. There's gonna be a Pontiff Knight over here, and uh, hello. Come on, don't kill me. Don't kill me, sir. What, what was that? Was that a, was that a, was that a weapon art? Yep. These things are pretty dangerous. Oh my god, I'm getting like the full set. <laughs> what is this look? There we go. Make your way over here. And you'll see a this. And of course, this is going to be a new thing. An illusory uh, fence. I don't know if that's a thing, but it is a thing apparently. There's going to be a pontiff knight around here. Oh my god. God, stop dodging. Stop dodging, please. Oh, there we go. Jesus Christ, did you see how much trouble this dumbass was giving me? Holy crap. At least we got it. So, let's just go down here. And make our way to this not-so-amazing person. And do this. Oof, get pancaked. Nice. You're gonna get Dora's, uh... Annoying, which is a miracle, I believe, a dark miracle. And we're good to go. Open up this door. And we've come full circle, obviously. That's where the bonfire was. This is where we saw the Pontiff Knights for the first time. And we can move on. So, yeah. These, uh, these Pontiff Knights are honestly some of the most uh, dangerous enemies in the series, I would say. Like, these things are glass cannons, but oh my god, if they decide to dodge the crap out of you, they will. If you come over here to pick up the blue moss, and make your way upstairs back to where we fought the, the fire witch. So. Let's go over here. If you go forward, you will die. Don't go forward, please. And you, there's, no, there's no point in going there. Keep this door in mind. It's a shortcut for later. And now we're gonna go over here to pick up a large titanite shard, so yeah. Gonna be a piece of loot over here as well. So we're getting a lot of large Titanite shards, as you can see. So it's kind of for upgrading our Astoros uh, Great Sword at the moment. So there's nothing back there. Don't bother. Just go inside this church, and you should be able to see Anri here if you've done the quest line properly. This is where he or she dies. So this is, say your goodbyes. Be sure to talk to him. Talk long enough to get the you know to get the quiet resolve uh, emote. And yeah, it's gonna be part of the uh, quest line. Don't worry. Let him die. And go over here to pick up a, a proof of a Concord kept, which is a uh, 
common item that you're gonna have to farm much later. For now, we're gonna be resting at the bonfire here, and uh, for now, I believe we should we could say that we are done. So. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video so far, and if you did, be sure to leave a like, don't you dare go hollow, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.